Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for the committee for, for having us here today to share our remarks. I am Brenda Berg, the President and CEO of Best NC. I represent over 125 business leaders from across the state of North Carolina who make up Best NC's membership. I first want to thank you for your commitment to having this thoughtful conversation in the second year of your budget process. We firmly believe that North Carolina can have the best education system in the nation. We know that despite the hard work of educators at every level, from pre-K through postgraduate, that we're not yet at a place where every student is meeting their highest potential. We firmly believe that North Carolina, um, our top priorities must be on talent, because we know that for our organizations, the success of our companies hinges on not just having great talent, but also having great talent that is supported. So based on this, we ask you to continue your very good work already that you started last year, continue it into this um, second year of the biennium. First, we deserve teachers deserve to be treated professionally, and that includes professional compensation, competitive compensation. You have made solid strides in the last two years, particularly in raising the starting salary to $35,000 minimum plus benefits, and we hope you will continue this process and focus where it's needed most. While we believe the entire salary schedule should have a cost of living increase, as you've heard from others, we encourage you to make the largest commitment in the early career teachers. This is strategic and it's focused on student success. It does three things. First, it will recruit more teachers into the profession. Second, it will address the fact that our highest turnover rate, our beginning teachers have twice the turnover rate of our career teachers. And it also enables teachers to earn more faster to support their families. This is a student-focused effort. Uh, over the last two years, you had a two-year strategy to get beginning teacher pay up. I think that was incredibly welcome. And we encourage you to do the same again. Have a two or a three-year strategy in place. Because imagine how many teachers who don't quite know where you're going with it, how many more we can keep in the profession if they know where you're going. And it's not just a one-year strategy. So we, we encourage you to do that again. In addition to teacher pay, leadership matter, matters, we ask that you be at least as aggressive with principal pay. Um, as you've heard, we have the highest, one of the highest teacher turnover rate, or principal turnover rates in the country and the lowest principal pay. Um, great principals make everything else that you're investing in possible. We ask for a significant increase this year for both principals and assistant principals, and that you conduct a study to completely reform and rethink the salary schedule that is really untenable and not aligned with student needs. In addition to pay, we couldn't have been more thrilled with your investment last year in transforming the principal pipeline. You launched a program that will recruit and train school leaders in North Carolina and increase both the rigor and the relevance. I cannot overstate the importance of transforming principal preparation. Systems that have taken this approach have seen dramatic and rapid student achievement gains particularly in closing the student achievement gaps. If there is one best way to address low performing schools, it is to ensure that we have a world-class principal in every school in our state. Leadership matters at all levels, so our other recommendation is that you support school districts who want to create career pathways for teachers, so they distribute teacher leadership throughout the schools. As you consider strategies for differentiated pay, we first ask you to prioritize solutions that empower teachers and recognize that they are true professionals. This will take time, so we ask that you invest pay in the base pay schedule for teachers, but consider ways to empower districts to design differentiated models and distributed leadership models. And as you can tell, it's a, a firm commitment in elevating educators, and we hope you continue on that path. Thank you so much for your time.